Oh, God. It's been a long day, Dr. Porter says, doing his best to fake a yawn. <sighs> Your butt can't stay here all night. There's no place to sleep. Yes, because that's the first thing you do. Why don't you take your dangerous genetic experiment home yep. and fill it with semen, and then I'll just pick it up tomorrow morning? Yeah. <laughs> I give Dr. Porter a knowing look of thanks, and he smiles back in return. Sounds good to me, my ass says. Yeah, totally, I tell Dr. Porter, then turn to my living butt. You hungry? I've never eaten! That sounds amazing! Responds my sentient ass. Let's go! How? Nope. <laughs> nope, just no comment. Nope. Just nope, you're just annoying. I don't know. You're just too much. This is I don't too know much. what to say to any of this. <laughs> I really don't. I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you. This is, this is... I'm trying to, like, imagine this and be like, oh, my God. Wink. <laughs> flop. Like. There's probably a dick flopping around. Like, as he's flying. Whoa! Well, they co they tell later that he has dick, and they don't say it was, like, hidden away or anything. No, no, so, not at all. Oh, but it is Hunter Tuck. Maybe it's, like, trooped up in there. Who knows? All right, seeing as it is his first meal ever, I decide to slurge a bit on my butt. Taking him out to a fancy French restaurant in the hip part of town? Yes, because people wouldn't question that. All right, Not sir, here's our best table for you and your flying butt. Flying ass. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh. Droll. How droll. Oh. Uh, it would usually be impossible to get a reservation on such short notice. But thankfully I know someone who works here, and she'll be able to pull some strings for me and my flying ass. Yo. <laughs> The next thing I know, I'm sitting across from my own ass in public, looking deep within his soulful eye. His brown eye. Well, they don't say it's an eyeball eye. No, they don't. They just say soulful eye. So, use your imagination, I guess. I'm not sure what to ask you, I confess. I mean, you know everything that I know, right? Pretty much, says the butt, his wings neatly folded neatly in behind him. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a little sip from his wine glass. How? Let's put this little stick in it. <laughs> Savoring every moment before setting it, setting it back down on the table. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Let me <clears throat> let me think about this. What? He just folded his wings back. So he can't be using his wings. He didn't say he had any arms. Maybe his he's like dick. psychic power. No, his dick. It's so like think an elf and trunk. You think he it like curled around the glass, brought it over, and then dipped in it, and then pushed it back? Maybe. Or do you he think? Said setting or do you down. think he brought it over and poured it into his butthole and then put it back? I don't know. Oh, so many questions. <laughs> so many scientific questions. <laughs> so many. Oh, wow. So many. Uh, f felt what? I asked, confused. Oh. Oh, so, so he sits back down the table. But I've never felt it that right there. Felt what? I asked, confused. I have all of your memories about drinking wine. I know what to expect when I do it, and I know what it's going to taste like, but I've never truly tasted it for myself, the butt explains. It's incredible. So, you don't have a tongue. <laughs> oh my god. You, you're, he's just butt chunky. Yeah. Which could kill you, That's by the an way. an enema. And yes, it could. Can't you just get, like, blood alcohol poisoning, like, really fast from butt chugging? Isn't that what it is that kills you? I was gonna say, because it's not filtered the same way if you use an enema instead of... Drinking it? Yeah. Right. So it, it's not filtered, so yeah. It would just be, like, a lot faster, and it'd hit you a lot faster, and it'd be higher proof still, I guess. Yeah, anyway. Eh, I don't know. Don't do it, kids. Don't. No. Just stick with cocaine. Uh, wh no. <laughs> Whoa, I say. This is amazing. I'm actually kind of jealous of you now. Really? Asked my living butt. Why jealous? Well, I know we're both 22, but at the same time you have so much to experience. Everything's going to be new and exciting for you. My butt smiles. Yeah, I suppose it is. Like this fucking steak I just ordered. <laughs> yeah, I laugh. You're really interested in food, aren't you? Well, I am a butt. My butt jokes. That's probably the best line of anything ever. My butt jokes. Because it works on so many levels. 
I laugh out loud at this, impressed with my similar sense of humor, his similar sense of humor to my own. For the first time in a long time, I feel like I've sitting across the table for someone who really gets me. Deep down, the core of my being. Butt jokes. It's hard enough dating as a gay man. Ha! So he's, his butt has no hair. In today's world of casual hookups and reckless flings. I'm looking for something more, and incredibly, I think I may have just found it. So there's your answer. We just need to clone you a sentient flying ass of yourself. No. That wouldn't work out <laughs> Oh, the, yes, he, he pounded in the butt by my own butt. The butt's at top in this. Okay. <laughs> that, that's not necessarily where I was going, but that would be, that would come into play eventually. Eventually, eventually. eventually. Can't really take it home to mom. Eventually. Mom would probably be happy. She's like, woo, we finally found the yeah. I'd be like, oh god. It's a butt. He'd be like, he treats me good, Mom. Uh, there's God, Mom, I just want to hang out with my golf friends. With my butt friends. With my butt friends. Uh... I just want to hang out with my butt friends. Yep. Okay. And that's not to say that my feelings... What? Oh, I skipped yeah. some. It's hard to go through the gay man's world today of casual cups or flames, blah, 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 tender grinder, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yep. That's not to say that my feelings for my own living ass aren't sexual. Far from it. The connection that I'm looking for is something that embodies every kind of attraction. If I'm going to be honest, at this very moment, I can barely contain my lust for this suave, sophisticated, living butt. I can't write this. I can't write this. <gasps> Chuck Tingle, you're amazing. I feel like you need a name, I tell my own butt. I know you are a part of me, and I love that about you, but you also need an identity of your own. My ass, he's, he's all about butt empowerment. It's so sweet. <laughs> my ass thinks about this proposition for a moment, then nods in agreement. All right, what's my name? How about Poor Torque, I offer. That's a pretty sexy name. Can we pause again? What the fuck? Poor Torque, never heard of it, but... I don't know. I'm gonna name my first child that. Please don't. Poor Torque. Poor Torque, my ass repeats aloud. Yeah, it's very manly. It's also seductive. I like that name a lot. Poor Torque it is, I laugh. Cheers to that. And the two of us raise our wine glasses and clink them together right as our steaks arrive. Perfectly because... cooked. Trunk -like rare as penis. can be. I, it's gotta be huge. Jesus. I watch as poor dog slices off a thin, tender strip of meat and then chews it happily, swallowing it with complete satisfaction. How? No. Don't think about it too hard. You might oh, implode. Oh, man. And I ask, what do you think? My winged ass smiles. It's incredible. And suddenly, I find myself overwhelmed with lust for this incredible butt. I thought you already was, like, overwhelmed. Or nearly overwhelmed. I know that this His is only the first night. <laughs> like Goblin King tight? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I know that this is our first night. We've only known each other for the first night. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is as real as it gets. If I don't say something now, I will regret it for the rest of my life. Is there anything else you've wanted to experience? I ask poor Torque. The living butt immediately picks up on the weight of my words, eyeing me suspiciously. Yeah, of course, he says. Anything that I can help you with? I question, continuing to lead him along. I can immediately tell that poor Tork understands what I'm asking of him, reading between the lines with expert precision. The bud hesitates for a moment, and then finally offers...